I am here at Capricorn, and I got to admit, I, I'm geeking out a little bit. Uh, next to me is New York Times best-selling author, gaming industry legend, Margaret Weiss. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much for asking me. Absolutely. So I got a couple questions I want to pick your brain about a little bit. Okay. Um, you're currently working on the Dragon Brigade series and the Dragon Ships of Vindris yes. series. How many projects do you typically have going on at one time? <laughs> well, I only work on one at a time. Okay. So Tracy and I just finished the Doom of the Dragon, which is the fourth in the Dragon Ship series, and that's with my editor. So now I'm going back and starting Dragon Corsairs, the first volume called Spy Master, which is the first in the um, Dragon Brigade series. That way I don't mix worlds up. I think I'm someplace else. <laughs> you could get lost. Yes. Yeah. What is the most challenging part of writing for you, and how do you get around it? <laughs> well, I think probably, and I've been doing this, you know, for over 30 years, but the most challenging part is always sitting down and starting to write every morning, which is one reason that I have a set schedule that I always do it. I work from about 7.30 every day to about 11.00. And the dogs know my schedule now. They, you know, they sleep all morning, 11 o'clock. They start getting up. They start walking around. I got a question about the dogs coming. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> they know it's time. And then afternoons, I, um, I spend going over in my head, walking the dogs, running errands. But I'm going over in my head what I've written that morning. And then hopefully, and then kind of thinking about what I'm going to write the next day. So hopefully the next day... I'll be there and I won't sit there looking at the blank computer screen. What you need to do is just sit down and start writing, even if you know that maybe you're not going to use it, at least you're writing. So there's something to be said for the, the, the act of creating the routine. Yes, I think the routine is very, very important. That's part of the, the value of, some, say, a program like the Nano, because it, to me it's, it, it's almost about trying to create that momentum in writers more than necessarily what you're getting at the end of it. You and your daughter have written two paranormal romance novels together. So what was it like to work uh, on a book with your daughter? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a, we had a really good time. Um, was that like something she came to you with and was like, Mom, I got an idea, or how did that come about? No, I think we were just, I can't remember whether, it may have been my agent who asked us if we'd be interested in doing it. Um, and we said, yeah, I think maybe that was it. Um, but we we just, we had a lot of fun. Um, we'd go, because I always write a complete synopsis before I start a, bu a book, so we needed to come up with the plot. And so we'd go to this Japanese restaurant and get a bottle of sake, and we'd <laughs> write, write notes on, like, the napkins, you know, and everything, so that's how we came up with the plot. And um, she wrote all the sex scenes. So I, I wrote the, the book, you know, and then, then I'd send it to her, and she'd write stuff, and she said that was really the hardest part for her because she knew I was going to read it. <laughs> it's yeah, understandable. We had, a, we had a lot of fun, but uh, probably never do another. There were our editor, editing, you know, our, the editor for romance novels would tell us, you know, we had to change stuff that our hero didn't look right, and he didn't do this, and he, or she didn't do that. And you never would get that in a fantasy, fantasy novel. What motivated you to start up a publishing company? Actually, I, my ex-husband and I started it way back in the day. When we got divorced, I inherited the game company. <laughs> okay. And it was either, you know, fold it or keep on with it. So, and I, I really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, we've had some amazing properties like Serenity. Sure and Firefly that have just been an absolute joy to work on. And um, it's, so it's, it's been a lot of fun, it really has. How many employees do you have at that company? I do freelance. Oh, I it's just freelance. freelance. Okay. Yeah, so much easier. That way we don't all have to be in one location. And honestly, you know, there's so much talent out there. And unlike, you know, the day when we all lived in Lake Geneva, uh, <laughs> everybody is all over the place now. And so, uh, so, you know, the head of my company, the production manager, Monica Valentinelli, she lives in Madison. Um, our develop, one of our developers is in England. I mean, it's just so cool. <laughs> That's great. It's kind of a cloud-based, cloud-based system. So you have four dogs. 
Uh, are there any rescues in there? Or th there are rescues. I have two myself. Um, so, does it disrupt your work at all when they come up to you and sit and stare at you? <laughs> yes, I have a border collie who does that. <laughs> My border collie, Dixie. She will come up when it, when she thinks it's time for her to go outside. Whether you know, she'll come up and stare at me, and it really does bother me. It really does while I'm writing, and so I'll have to. I'll say, Dixie, go lie down, and she'll look at me and she'll kind of slink away, and then she'll look back to see if I meet it. And I'm like, Dixie, go lie down, and then she'll go back in her chair and lie down until it's time. You know, when I get ready to take a break and I get up and we let everybody out and then she's like, you know, out like a shot. But yeah, yeah I, she does. I have my, my dogs will like burrow under my hand as I'm typing on the laptop. So we, you know, sometimes we're their personal assistants. So what's it like to think like a kinder? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. I really, um, I really enjoyed writing Tasselhoff. Um, yeah, he was, he was absolutely great to me. Tasselhoff is the wisest person in Dragonlance, in the Dragonlance saga. And I tell that to people and they absolutely freak out, but Tasselhoff has no preconceptions. He sees right through everything besides everything else. And um, it was, it, he was a joy. Well, Margaret, thank you so much for talking to us. I really, I really appreciate you sitting down and, uh, and sharing your experience with us.